Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that if any cicada person, you know, someone who doesn't know a lot about tortoises and want a tortoise or have a cicada and want to know how to care for them, this video, make sure to watch the entire thing because this is going to be a very good video for those wanting cicada. So today I'm going to be showing you how to properly set up a cicada tortoise enclosure. So here is our enclosure. It's a two and a half by three foot you know, kind of box area underneath my Russian tortoises and to the side with the Central American wood turtle and Eastern box turtle. But so here's his enclosure. As you can see, we have the bottom lined with some pond liner. And if you want to know, if you want to know what a failure looks like, it's that. That's supposed to be a straight line, but don't worry about it. I'm planning on making his basking area over here, so it's alright. But you may be wondering why the liner. Believe it or not, you don't want, like, sand. You don't want completely dry stuff for your cicada. Okay. That is a huge misconception. And it can also be a fatal mis misconception when caring for your tortoise. Now, over here is our tortoise's tank. It's a 20-gallon long. And as you can see, it has repti bark. But in mixing with the repti bark, there's some, I'm guessing it's sphagnum moss. Now, what we're going to be doing today is getting... Eco Earth and Cypress Mulch mix. That will, it'll be dry, but it'll also raise humidity so he's not completely, you know, completely dried out, which is exactly what this, um, mulch, or this, um, sorry, moss would do mix in with the Eco Earth. I'm sorry, the Repti Bark. So here's his enclosure. That's how he came in from Craigslist, and we're going to be moving him into here and I'm going to show you how to get the substrate done right now. So here we have the substrate. Eco Earth is a reptile keeper's best friend. This is what we're going to be using to mix in with our cypress mulch. And instead of, because this this bag of mulch costs like three bucks, okay, a bag this size of reptile bark would probably cost you around 35 to maybe $50 depending on where you live. It's just outrageous. So you want to get some pure cypress mulch. This does have, I think, a couple blended other kind of wood if you can get your hands on pure cypress mulch that is perfect this stuff has been tested there's no pesticides it's not treated it's just pure cypress mulch so what we're going to be doing is getting this eco worth putting in a bucket of water getting some cypress mulch putting it in this tub and mixing it together all right so here we have our compressed coconut fiber and i just want you guys to know it's not a good idea to use the entire thing I'm just putting the entire thing because I'm going to be putting some in there in my crested gecko tank. So just put in some water. To be honest, I don't. There is a measurement of the proper amount of water you need to use for it, but I just put in some water and wait for it to um, expand. But while we're waiting for that, we'll just move our eco worth over here and we'll get cracking on the cypress mulch. Alright, so the Eco Earth is all ready to go. We have our Cypress mulch ready to mix. And I can't stress this enough. Because they're not tropical tortoises, you would want to get as much water out as possible. But don't just, don't not put it in water. You do want the humidity. You do want it moist. Just don't have it, you know, soaking wet. So, our Eco Earth here is going to... Add a lot of it on, and once we have a decent amount on the top, we will mix it up. Alright, so, now we're going to put in the substrate, and I think it'll look great. Alright. 
right, so, as we know, Sakata Portis' love digging. So if you have an enclosure that will allow you, or if you have a Sakata Tortoise, obviously you need an enclosure that will allow you to put in enough substrate for him to dig around because they love to dig. They're like, they're pretty much the gopher tortoises out of, of Africa, pretty much. So, one thing I love about Cypress Mulch, not only can you get a lot for cheap, it's also not dusty, you know, if they dig around it won't get in their lungs, and it's also not spiky, so it won't hurt them, it's actually fairly soft. And, as you see here, we don't have, here I'll go close up on the mix, on the mix here, hold on, is that better, you see, Yes, you can see the um, Eco Earth, but it's not like it's not. It's like it's not even damp, pretty much. It's just enough to add a real nice amount of humidity. All right, so we're gonna spread this evenly, and I know he's gonna like it a lot. He's probably gonna burrow it a lot. Let's see my my favorite part, my absolute favorite part of owning animals is setting up their enclosure. I love setting up their enclosure, so let's do that. All right, so here we have his basket in area. We just got a really old, rusty screen top of a 20 gallon or 15 gallon tank. I just set it right here. I'm most likely going to trim off this side here, this side sticking out, and just nail it to the top because this thing is so old and beat down that really can't be used for a screen top anymore. I'm used, there's a whole, big hole right here. But this is just going to hold up his lamps. This one's a heat. This one's a UVB. And we also have another UVB which we're going to clamp down so we'll get more than just the um, basking area. And uh, yeah, I'll get back with you guys when it's all set up. Alright, so his enclosure is all set up. We're going to introduce him to his new setup. And to be honest, guys, it's one of the best setups he's ever done. He's gonna love it a lot. So here we have our little year, maybe a little over a year old Sakata tortoise. I'm just sitting there, we'll slide him right on over. Doesn't have a name yet. I'm thinking of a name. I'm thinking it'll be more of a person name than it will be like, you know, Shadow or, you know, Hurricane or anything like that. Look at him, he's ready. He is ready to explore his new enclosure. Now, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but this is the ideal enclosure setup that you want. Okay, so here we have, let's set him down on his rock. So here we have his enclosure, his basket area. We have another UVB bulb, that's a real cactus. Plant, this is a humid hide, that's his food bowl. That's his dry hide, that's his water bowl. It doesn't have any water in it yet. I'll get on that right after the video ends. And this rock is here to help file down his claws so they're not don't get super long but here's the enclosure guys remember cypress mulch and coconut fiber mix it's not it's not wet okay it's not damp it's just to hold humidity and what you want to feed them is this Missouri tortoise diet this is perfect stuff and as you see here to pick them up it's not real bad so he's got some slight pyramiding that's just from a lot of calcium and growing them up really fast. So, Missouri tortoise diet, awesome stuff. I also feed them carrots, romaine lettuce, uh, collard greens, stuff like that. And just a pinch of calcium powder. Just a pinch. And you can see, that's what it is, the white powdery stuff. Just a pinch, like I give it every other meal. Because cicadas, they don't, to be honest, you can go without this and it'll be fine. They don't need all that extra calcium. But yeah, guys, here's this uh, enclosure. Can't talk today. I was going to say setup, but it came out in closure. Here it is. If you have any questions, make sure to ask away, and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching.